I am joined today by Alan Ray, and you are talking in your sessions about sustainability. What traditional approaches do you believe researchers need to go beyond to make it more global? Well, I think that researchers in the materials area have concentrated on the ecological aspects of the products that they're developing. But in fact, you know, we need to consider not only that, we need to con consider the social aspects and also the economic aspects, because all of these things are interrelated and we need to address all of them. Well, give me some examples of how sustainability is making its way into the mainstream market. Well, there's a, there's a real change in the in intergenerational attitudes. So, for example, the products that my daughters buy uh, are completely different than the ones that I would buy. They're buying organic foods, they want to know what the ingredients are in their products, and that's working its way through the whole retail chain. But do you think sometimes people are using it when they really shouldn't be using it? Well, there's always a risk of greenwashing, mm -hmm. uh, but in fact, you know, the, the, the public is getting much better at identifying greenwashing and uh, avoiding it. Yes, they're getting much smarter. Yes. Do you believe researchers are taking these sustainability concerns, though, that are out there into account as much as they should be? It depends where they are in the uh, value chain. So the closer they are to the consumer, the more they see this. As it works backwards through suppliers and sub-suppliers, then people aren't quite as aware as they probably should be right now. Well, you talked about how sustainability is making its way into the major markets. Can you give me some examples of how some of these sustainability practices are actually working, they're really successful? Well, there are organizations that bring together NGOs, uh, non-government entities, and uh, companies. Uh, so, for example, one is Business NGO, um, that have done programs looking at the, uh, the initiatives that companies are doing. So, for example, Walmart is one of the companies. In fact, all major retailers have got sustainability initiatives. Uh, Walmart has reduced the amount of para parabens, uh, phthalates, and other materials of concern by millions and millions of pounds. They've made uh, ingredient lists available on their website. They're going to insist that suppliers put them on their packaging. So, you know, major retailers are really uh, doing, uh, they're breaking ground in this area. And they're really leading the way, aren't they? Yes, they are. Yes. So why do you think the majority of the public would be surprised to hear that? Well, it hasn't had a lot of publicity. Um, I mean, people are judging it when they pick up the product and look at the label, see what's in it. But they haven't really, I think the, uh, the major retailers uh, don't want to be seen as greenwashing what they do. I think it's important that they, that they do the right thing and that's being uh, pushed by their, their customers and also their shareholders as well. There's a lot of shareholder activity in this area. Yes, there is. In your opinion, how important is an interdisciplinary approach to sustainability? Well, if you take the three elements of sustainability, you've got to have sustainability in terms of eco-design. But the other aspect is the people aspect, people's attitudes, uh, people's concerns, what are the effects on people. And then there's the whole issue of profit and economics. If it is something that's ecologically fine, but way too expensive, it's not going to fly. So there has to be a balance between all of these. And for example, uh, p companies can lose market share if they have a product that is not seen by people to be uh, ecologically attractive. They can lose market share. So it's really an interdisciplinary effect. So based on what you've been seeing then, you are optimistic about the future? Yes, I see a lot of activity uh, with major corporations, most of the ones that you'd recognize, and uh, you know, a sincere effort to do the right thing. All right, well we appreciate you sharing your knowledge. Thank you, Alan Ray. Thank you.